The overall plan that we have for rugby in Kenya is we're supporting the 15 aside team and the 15 aside team uh, is trying to get to the World Cup finals in Japan in 2019. To do that they have to improve, uh, they have to play more games, they have to do more training, uh, coaching uh, and that is our aim to assist in that process. So the more games they play, of course the more experience they get playing 15 aside rugby and, and improvement. And then there's the, the training. So the idea intention is to bring one or two coaches over from New Zealand for an intensive training course. These are really top uh, international coaches to assist the uh, Kenyan coaches, to train the Kenyan coaches in some of the more uh, detailed areas of the game. It's very clear watching Kenya, they have some amazing strengths. Their ball playing skills, their athleticism, it's truly world class. The weaknesses are in the set piece, the scrum and the line out. And if we want to progress to the top 20, we need a strong scrum. You can't be bullied in the scrum and in the line out the way we were today. But they are technical issues, they can be fixed. I really see Kenya as a top, top 10, top 12, 15s rugby playing nation. But to do that we need strong administration and we need a very broad player base. So we need to bring a lot of boys and girls into the game at a young age with very strong coaching structures and admin structures and develop them. Because I don't think there's a country in the world that has the gene pool of athletes and just natural ball players that you have here in Kenya. So we are sponsoring Shamas Rugby, which is children from the slums. So it's getting them playing rugby, helping with feeding programs and life skills. A lot of disadvantaged children. Um, there's about 1,700 children in Nairobi playing in that program now. And when you go and watch them, it's truly inspiring. They're getting true joy playing the game. They're getting life skills. But they're also very talented athletes. And not just the boys, also the girls. <laughs> Really, really great game of rugby and congratulations to both sets of players. We want to develop the game. We want to build Kenya into a 15s international powerhouse and to build the player base. And I think we saw today through the playmaking, the innate skills, the quality of some of the tries, one from our own try line, why Kenya should be a top 20 rugby nation. And on a wishful note, I hope that we get to play you again in the World Cup in 2019. We started the day with an age group program, uh, getting to rugby for young children who are aged between 8 all the way to 18. And that opportunity has been facilitated by the involvement of sponsors, both, both sides working hard to ensure that we grow rugby from the grassroots. And we as the union are very passionate and very committed to that. So we are delighted with that uh, commitment. and. Uh, maybe SJ wasn't there when Tito did say that uh, the Kenyan team is going to train in New Zealand and uh, I think uh, the boys are looking forward to it and particularly now after a game like this it just reinforces the need to put that in place at the earliest opportunity. <laughs>